know? So I just wanted to sort of go through, just sort of pick a berm and then walk it and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean this was more of a physical separation. I mean, this is the water retaining structure right here. You know, that, in fact, is probably the most important water. So I thought we, so I thought we might as well just walk back this way and. Well, they actually intended on that one is 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 a riprap, so a similar material too. Yeah. I'm just going to say I'm just going to go uh, go that way. We might as well work our pick one direction. But yeah, the garbage used to come right down. It was quite can't think it's spectacular, but quite the mess. Yeah, so they buried. See, the one question will be, you know, they've and they argued that is that they've had an accumulation of metal waste since. I mean, they've dealt with most of it, but there's this little bit here. You know, should we, should they be have to bury all of it? I'm just pausing. That's one thing I do with this technique is pause sort of every once in a while because otherwise the, the image bounces from the walking sort of pausing for five seconds and then, at least that's the technique I'm developing. Not sure. Well, yeah, I can say I'm not... I mean, the metal is going to be started. This is still a metal dump area. It's just that they've cleaned it up immensely. Well, it sort of went into, they say, part way out into there, but this was still a fairly a large pond. No. I mean, we did, I'm sorry, we, but EBA had recommended, you know, these are fairly wide structures, but I think in terms of putting enough material in it that it would be low permeability, not completely impermeable.
thought, I guess, still to do some remedial work on that one power pole, which in actually looking at it now, five years after the fact, <laughs> it needs it. Yeah, so they've still, you know, from the last discharge, they've still got ponded. Yeah, so what had happened with the, with the wetland flows is that at some point it can channelize, so it's flowing through. So you put in a sort of a deep channel that it flows into that, it remixes, and then it distributes as it's going back out. Although, I'm not even sure how this flows. You know, it probably comes looks like it comes through there in a fairly, fairly flat, you know, it comes, because it looks like it's fairly well distributed in here, and it gets into here, and I'm sure it probably floods to some degree this area. Yeah. Yeah. But not all of it still, he was going to say it's, it's enough flow that it is getting spread out, right? And this... Yeah. No, no, or well, we've got some pictures of it, but I... And... Yep. Yeah, because that's... And that for all is, is essentially where the old, they called the old dike. Well, they had that, they had a, essentially an end dump dike yeah. built there. And of course, after the first season it breached, so it had a B notch in it and just flowed through. But, uh, you know, with time, I don't even say how, uh, I mean, this will vegetate with time. But it is. It is a it is a very small wetland. Like we did, I had a, a wetland specialist out of the states, who well, essentially wrote the book. I sort of know, got to know him through um, Bernie. To say one of the wetland guys with the UMA, so he did a calculation, and he said, you know, there's going to be some nutrients. But I mean, it's a, it's a, it is a small wetland, but at least it is a wetland. If you've got geese growing, habitating, it must be, it must be, a, yeah, it's by definition, right? <laughs> it's a wetland. So I don't know, do we want to, to go down? Because there, the, there is that other structure, there's a gravel berm, or a gravel riprap berm right there. And actually that's the one that, in my mind, is, is probably the, the sort of the main control structure for the the wetland, because I've seen it operating, and actually it's, it, it does quite nice, it, it blocks the flow and just sort of spreads it all the way out, redistributes it, and it goes down over the bank. But I would say this berm, I mean they've got, you know, they've got erosion, I mean erosion protection all the way along, some, some heavier stuff, but really they've got more than, I think it's more than adequate for what the nature of the flow is.
cookies. Yeah, well, it's sewage, right? I mean, I would suggest that this is probably the, the, the sort of the best wetland area of the entire, you know, this would be, yeah, this is the, I call it an ideal wetland here. And who knows with time, the rest of it may. I don't know. Space hog. Yeah. Yes. So this I would call it this is a this is a control berm for the wetland. So the idea and the idea was here was to prevent with this increase in slope down here is to prevent channelizing. So just try and well prevent channel yeah channelizing and reduce the velocity. So back it up a certain amount. And when this is operated actually it's quite neat. It, it'll come up again and then you'll see it yeah trickle through in fact trickle through the entire base. Which is kind of, I mean, that was the intent. So is there, uh, down below, is there a more impenetrable structure than this? Nope. So this is all this. So, so it's got a geotextile base anchored above and below, and then just entire rip wrap. So it's got a top elevation of, I think, about 9 meters, which is more than uh, high enough. And more wetland. You get ducks unlimited down here. I'm just going to take a shot from this side. would be sort of the idea, you know, if it was all like that, so that, you know, that the sewage would just sort of flow, take its own sort of pathways through the area. Okay, yeah. I've still been wondering how the heck those culvert ends got bashed up. <laughs> yeah. 
But that's why I'm comparing the end of you know the riprap protection there, this point to that those other culverts we saw. And they, it's, it's a, I mean, these are not going to erode to any degree, but those other ends are. I suspect they're not going to last very long. If they're trimming the other ones, yeah, I mean, it sort of. I guess the important thing is actually to make sure that the the ends of the culverts aren't bent out, right? I just wanted to take a hike down here as well. There was, I mean, there was a bit of a channel. Like it, that sort of upper end of it, there seemed to be sort of some flow that had, had, I think, traditionally come this way, but for the most part, it had channeled its way that direction. This was sort of a, a lucky opportunity. Yeah. Actually, seeing this now, I'm wondering if that erosion riprap should not extend down to the high tide. I thought it did, at least from the pictures that I was looking at. I mean, when you can see that there hasn't been, you know, when they've been operating, I mean, there's some channelization down here, but not really. From a treatment perspective, actually, it's, it's a, well, sort of a mixed bag. It's almost better to have it sort of going over natural ground. Yeah, and I mean, this flow, because it makes its way down to the beach, I mean, you can't even detect it right after. Because that could be. Yeah. See, I'm just wondering that they are, and I sort of picked up on this, or somebody made the comment, I guess it was Doug Voth made the comment that there is, you know, they, they, I mean, they're, they're officially not discharging. However, there is a discharge. So, you know, from the regulator's perspective, Oh, 
Oh, it's going to be very cl clean. In fact, I think the samples we took were sort of in the range of 50-50 BOD suspended solids, and the the CCME guideline is 25-25, so we're not that far above it. And that was in June. So if you're waiting to the you know this discharge time, that um, you'd expect it to be definitely well under well under 50-50, which is not bad. I would suspect it probably does, because I don't, you know, that's sort of an indicative. Well, actually, there's one way to find out is to, let's, no, let's walk up. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure this sign. Nice looking sign. So I am wondering if the regulators might come up with a position saying, well, you know, you are continuously discharging. Well, sorry, you're... When you look from here, so they did look at as soon as the slow drop was Yeah. And it almost... See, I it's actually to... For a better design, you'd probably, I mean, you're trying to channel it down the slope and probably almost want to flare it to some degree. You know, flare it so it's, it's sort of, I mean, it's, it's the sheet flow, the sheet flow there where you're getting the, uh, the soil absorption and the, the sun and all those good things. But uh, let's take a walk up there just to see if there's any, because that's what I would dug about is that, you know, with the, when they were doing the discharge, you know, what sort of evidence was there of the, of the discharge here on the beach. This is the. Yeah. Yeah. got to finish off that planning report, which I have been neglecting for a few months now. Well, I'll finish off the planning report and basically make the recommendation to use that site that is sort of on top of well, the second site that you took those test pits at. Because I've got them definitely convinced that that little bowl I thought was so ideal is, is not. <laughs> And the quad just for uh, effect, right? <coughs> the revelation or whatever that it, it... They are solving the problem themselves in some respects. getting the idea that uh
think if they did Forecast for tomorrow is the same as today, which, yeah, well, Yeah, but it's so that six not six hundred feet, is it? No, I think of the entire structure, this is probably the, I can't say the scary part, but this problem, because at some point, at some, in the future, they're going to forget to decant, and it will be flowing through this. I mean, not that it's going to be torrential, but this is sort of in terms of erosion protection. This is, you know, this is sort of a choke point. <laughs> so I wanted to be seeing if, you know, if there is any additional erosion protection that they should be putting on here and I don't see necessarily that there is. You know, it's well actually I'd be more comfortable with just having the low point sort of physically there to sort of define it as well as um, the practical yeah. and the Well, that, that would be, I mean, the scenario could possibly be in the spring, like so over the winter. And they were close to that today. They were actually up to about 10. And in a combination, because there's still a catchment area that brings off, off surface runoff. You know, in spite of the diversions that we've got, there still is sort of a water that comes off the land. Not necessarily a lot, so just sort of a melt that could have a... <coughs> A minor flood, but yeah, and I mean it is. We do have it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll just be 
seeping, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Probably entire. I'm trying to think what was the water we were down. Actually, we were. piece of pipe was uh, Tom Livingston's can't say brainchild, he wanted to make sure with the wetland area that we sort of didn't get a point sort of a point source, we sort of spread it out and allowed it to flow, and I mean it's not a bad idea in principle now Yes, I'm just going to... What's that? Yeah. Well, I presume that that is where all the floating is going to come because that's the the low point or the becomes a sump of sorts, I guess. Although with our new improved intake, I mean that will remedy that to some degree. They got some pinching in this hose. Physically, it's supposed to go down to eight and a half meters.
if the geese like it, then it must be okay, right? Actually, that begs the question, I've got a pipe that's hung underneath a bridge up in Dawson that needs an inspection. And to the pipe. So this was sort of the, I call it the old channel, so when it came through there it, it went that way and then around and then to, to those old culverts. So it went through here? Yes. Yeah. Nope, so that sort of drains its, I suppose if anything it's catching some runoff coming from, from the landfill. I suppose, but yeah, I mean, it's, this is a leaky system. Yeah, it turns out to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those, well, those covers were replaced. Yeah, so. I'm going to take it. in terms of, I just didn't realize how high, in terms of this wetland area is that there is definitely a high space right there. Yeah. some degree so
Well, the plants, I mean, this portion is just it's the sun in the air. And there's, the bug, and there's a bug population in here as well. And there's an algae population that establishes itself. So those ones deal with the, and the sedimentation. So you're dealing with the suspended solids settling out and then the algae or bacteria in here consuming the carbonaceous material. Again, the intent here was to have a, you know, this was, we had a collective surface. And I mean, for sizing of that, sizing of it, I just sort of picked, I can't say something necessarily at random, but I mean, any, something of a reasonable size. Considering how they constructed it, I mean, in that, I mean, they're getting leaking through there. And it's probably leaking all the way through. It's just that this is the. Yeah. How does that sound? I mean, it's in terms of a site improvement. What's that? Yes, so that's honey bags and carcasses right there. So, how do they access? Well, that's what we were discussing about. So it's one of these things, you know, we've got the designated areas. Um, strictly speaking, this should, pro this should probably be hungy bagging carcass. That, that ramp should probably be extended. Like the bulb should probably be extended right out to there. Um, I don't know. Well, they wanted, well, they were land farming on the other side before we, when we originally came in. They had, it, had that sort of, they had some, excavated areas. Oh yeah. So this is the informal drainage. So this, this area drains in and comes down to this culvert. It goes across to here and then drains that way. In a way, in a way this is like Holland where you're managing water below, yep. below the sea level. And it becomes, well, I mean and from here you're you know you're building up. So it becomes, uh, 
can't say less relevant, but it And this area right here is the burn pit. Although strictly Yeah. Yeah, the grade is supposed to be that way. Yep. Well, that's the intent. No. And the intent here is to have a covert. Oh no, actually not a covert, but a um, so a per the perimeter ditch on the. that? Yeah. Well, that's where they're dumping. And that becomes sort of a, an issue, yeah, how they, you know, they've got these But really, what I wanted to see, you know, is, is pour over this with you, just to get your input ideas and. So shoot video with this thing, which is kind of nice. Thank you. 